Good Monday morning. In dealing with children, you probably recognize or understand that kids um, make decisions based on that particular moment. They don't have life experience, um, wisdom, big picture ideas that can help them make good decisions in the moment. So when um, the young child wants something right now and they don't get it and they start throwing a fit, you recognize that they're not getting that thing that they want because it's for their good. And in that moment of time to them, it is for their bad. <laughs> they are not able to enjoy that ice cream cone or that toy or that trip to Disneyland, whatever it might be. Well, when we don't know the big picture, we fall in that same type of situation, even as adults. We have plans, we have ideas that we think are good, that we think are right, um, that we want to have blessed, but we don't know what's going to come tomorrow. Most of our decision-making is based on what has happened in the past rather than what's going to happen in the future. We can guesstimate what's going to happen in the future, in the coming days, weeks, years, based on what happened in the past, but there is no guarantee. In the um, financial industry, past results are no guarantee of future results. We have, um, on Palm Sunday, we have this story of Jesus entering into Jerusalem and the people are um, crying out with praise that Jesus is the Messiah. And they're crying out, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. You see, the Israelites have seen Jesus teaching. They have seen his miracles. They believe he is probably the Messiah. And they're right. But they've got his mission wrong. They think the coming Messiah is going to reinstate a kingdom of David here on earth. And you see, the, the kingdom of David in, in the history of Israel was a glorious time in in their past, and they are expecting that Jesus is going to be the new king of a new kingdom here on earth that's going to free them from Roman occupation, that's going to allow them to have their own nation. And that is not Jesus' mission. He is the Messiah. They got that part right. But Jesus' mission is not to free them from the Romans. It's to free them from their sins. It's to save all of us from our sins. Jesus, God, had a much bigger picture than what we have. And we're asking God to bless our plans, just like the child, I want my ice cream cone, I want that toy right now, or life is just going to fall apart. <laughs> We too go to God, please bless our plans because we think that's going to be the right answer for our life as if our plans are going to save us. As if the people we want in charge are going to save us. As if our agenda or programs are going to save us. God knows the bigger picture and it was more important to save us from our sins than to give us what we want. How many times have I asked God to bless my plans instead of saying, Lord, how do you want me to follow you? I've put myself front and center instead of asking Jesus to be front and center and how can I be doing and helping Jesus in ways that he would want me to love my neighbor, to love God. 
We are going to find out uh, as we move through this week how the people who were praising Jesus as the Messiah, how that quickly turned into yells to crucify him when the people realize that their plans are not coming to fruition. And they throw a tantrum. God bless you. Have a good Monday. And I will be back to go further into this Holy Week story on Wednesday. Have a good day. Goodbye.